Hey you guys, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome in, welcome back. This is going to be a general message, so take what fits your situation and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home for you, just try a different message. I want to start with the fire intuition, my tears have healed my heart deck. And I just kind of want to know, um, it's like a conversation. I feel like we're going to have a really important conversation here. So... Let's get the dialogue out. I'm going to do a three by three, nine card spread. And we're going to see what this conversation is. I'm hearing the word envious. I have a deck that has the word envious in it. So I did pull that out. It happens to be an angel deck. So we're going to ask the angels how they feel about said situation. And then um, I actually have two, no, three other decks that I want to use as well. So this is going to be a big one, um, a longer one. But yeah, just take what fits, leave what doesn't. This is not going to be gender specific, so I might say he or she, pay that no mind. Just the, the first three cards. I'm not an option, period. Not a choice or an option, period. Um, and then we have focused on boss moves. I love that. That's some Capricorn energy. And then um, we do have I need to book a reading ASAP. So if you've been wanting to book a personal reading um, with somebody or pull your own cards on this, I'm getting you can do that. Um, for those of you that read yourselves, you have your own deck that you use. Um, you may have been struggling to understand what the message is trying to tell you. I'm getting that that's been lifted. If there was some kind of blockage. I don't think you were quite ready for it to make sense. So it didn't. Anyways, I'm getting that that's been lifted. It's going to make sense for you now. So if you're somebody that likes to pull your own cards, go ahead and do that. Or if you've been thinking about booking a personal reading with somebody, you might want to do that. Okay, gratitude is the new attitude. Yes. Fire sign. This is surrounding. This is the epicenter. The middle card and the whole spread. Fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like that also has a lot to do with the passion and desire that you have. The actions that you're taking. You're very passionate about them. You feel very, very strongly um, about focusing on you. And your surroundings. There's a lot about stability here as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get that earthy energy come on, uh, coming out. I moved away so no one could find me. You are separating yourself, creating distance between the things that just don't serve you. The people that are not there to motivate and positively impact you. Ooh. Okay, I hear you loud and clear. Some of you are blocking people. No contact. Yeah, karmics. Exactly. People, situations, um, just anything that doesn't serve you, anything that's not healthy for you, spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally. I like how that's at the bottom, too. Like, we're putting that beneath us. You're overstanding. Very king of swords of you. Seeing the big picture. But that's why you stepped away. See, and what's crazy about that is when you step away from people, you'll see things that you didn't want to see before because you didn't want to believe that in somebody. And then a lot of other things are going to make sense as well. Ooh, what was that? Yeah, see, you're, you're just focused on your passions and what you are drawn to. And I'm hearing what is drawn to you in this new vibration, this new frequency, this new level. Because you cut off a lot of heavy energy. With that comes ascension, comes clarity, comes understanding. 
comes a new perspective. You've learned a lesson here. You've really closed out a chapter. And I don't think that there's any confusion or doubt about that, especially with the fire energy here and feeling so strongly, so passionately. You are creating a new life. You're going to have to reintroduce yourself to people. Think about you all day. It does seem like um, there is a karmic that is still very... This is going to sound weird. Okay, so obsessed. There is a karmic that is still very obsessed with you. But I think that you've created the distance. So all they can do is obsess from a distance. And unfortunately, um, whatever they try to throw your way, it's not necessarily going to work. Because they're trying to throw it at the person that they used to know. But that's not who you are anymore. You've changed since then. So, um, And a lot of that has to do with the, the protection why you created the distance in the first place because you recognized that something or someone was dangerous was not healthy right it creates dis-ease that'll really mess with your chakras but we we don't have to get into all that right now but there is something someone it's it's a person or it's an entity that lives through a substance being abused specifically is what i'm hearing makes me think of alcohol right the spirits. They call them spirits. Anyways, or pick your poison, right? What will it be tonight? Like, there's there's something about... Um, this person knows a, bar, a bartender. Sorry, I'm channeling so hard that it's hard to actually form the words. Um, somebody personally knows a bartender. Like, this bartender knows things about this person. That's not going to resonate for everyone, but for some of you it will. I just feel like you are moving on with your life. I don't think you necessarily wish bad on this person. I think, I feel, I feel that you tried to help this person and it triggered them. This person can't let go of their past because there's some kind of... That's so weird. It's almost like they're thinking about what they went through and how it made them stronger, but they're still so very angry about it. They'll still have that strength when they find peace. It'll actually be a, a more powerful uh, strength that they would have. Um, but there's something maybe about sympathy. Now I'm hearing the good old days. Maybe they still hang out with some of those people that they were karmic with. That is exactly why you'd have to move away. I think you tried to help somebody, but they didn't want it. That is so hard, watching somebody's potential and then, like, them not, not living it out, not getting to see them experience it. But I also think that you're just focusing on you right now. That's what you can do, right? Cause it's not about what we can't do. That'll create its own blockage <laughs> all on its own. I'm not a choice or an option, period. Let's find out why this is here. Six of Wands, the Fool, and the Five of Cups. Wow. I kind of feel like the hole in the soul, so to speak, the pain. Um, you both went through something similar, but I think that you healed this This is, this person is weird. Um, they just don't think like I do. <clears throat> so I'm trying to understand it as I'm receiving it. It's almost like you guys went through the same thing, but you overcame it. You've been able to overcome. 
the issue, the, the constant day-to-day weight that comes with holding on to something painful. Um, you have that victory, you have that success, but this person almost views you as a threat because you're not the same. They view their process to be, I'm hearing creme de la creme or cream of the crop. I don't even understand what that's supposed to mean. It's almost like they think that they're doing it. Maybe the, it, it is the best way for them to do it. You see a different way, but they you don't share the same perspective. When it boils down to it spiritually, this person is still holding on to a lot. They get some kind of fuel from it. They get gassed up over it somehow. This person may have a very interesting way of using their anger to drive them, to give them energy, like the motivation, lighting a fire under their own butt. But it's done with such malice. You see that there's a different way, a more peaceful way, but this person, I just don't think they want to hear it. Um, I don't know if it's because it's coming from you and this person's got like a thing with you specifically or what, but y'all are not the same at all. You don't have the same perspective on this. I also feel like this person doesn't want you it's like they can't accept that you've healed. Okay, so now I'm channeling someone that hurt you. This could be a different person. This could be a completely different situation that I'm picking up on. Um, but I am getting specifically where somebody tried to hurt you and they're furious that you're no longer hurt by what they did. Or you're just, you're not phased. You know, they're not getting your energy like that. And they want to see you riled up. They want to see you lose your cool. They want to see you talk about it still or anything like that. Um, they're obsessed. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Aries energy here. I feel like with this, I'm not a choice or an option, period. I think that somebody used you in a way that you do not appreciate. And they know that. They don't care. They were benefiting somehow. Three of Pentacles. You were trying to work with this person, and this person was trying to see what they could um, get you to do for them. It's I wanted you to do something for them, but you realize the game that they were up to. Somebody wanted you to feel like you weren't an option. They wanted you to doubt yourself They, because they knew that you're stronger than that. So a situation happens where you both go through the same thing. You bounce back from this faster and, and smoother, whatever, than they did. They may not have bounced back. Maybe that's what the problem is. Um, but this person's threatened by you now because they see the amount of strength that you have, inner strength that you have, and they want that. And how dare you have more than them. So like this person went out of their way to hurt you. They went out of your way to essentially get you to doubt yourself. They put in work, but it's karmic work, toxic, manipulative, envious. They're bringing me back to that word, envious. Um, focused on my money boss moves. It's your self-worth, honey. Yeah, exactly. Woo! And the universe says, yes, exactly. Now let's move forward. I mean, come on. This is clear as day. You closed out that chapter and you're on to the next one. The divine is with you. You are so protected. So protected. You just keep... <laughs> I, every time I hear it, I used to say it, and then I realized another reader said it. So now I feel weird about saying it without mentioning him. Um, but Ant from Cancer Moons, he'll tell you, uh, keep it popping, pushing, and moving forward. <laughs> and I used to say that, but 
I, it's like his things, right? So I just, <laughs> oh, I got respect for him. I'll throw it out there. Um, I need to book a personal reading. Okay, so the Heart of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Aw. Yeah, yeah. If you feel like taking action, aw. Make sure it's a full spread. I like this. Two of Pentacles. In the next couple weeks, you can absolutely get a reading. Um, or... If you've been waiting for your readings to actually make sense, the information to flow, go ahead. This is your green light. Go ahead and do that. So, Oh, and then I mentioned Cancer Moon's Tarot. So if you've been thinking about booking with him, absolutely. That, was, that had to be confirmation for somebody. Gratitude is the new attitude. It's a choice. <laughs> it's a choice. You choose to be happy or you choose to not be. And you're choosing happy. I'm also hearing that you're choosing healthy. Yeah, nine of swords. Somebody wanted you to choose fear. We're not doing that. Sorry for the cat hairs if you see them. <laughs> Fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is this here? Please and thank you, spirit. The sun, fire, Leo energy. It is summertime for the Northern Hemisphere. Even though they're trying to blanket the sun, I digress. The movement of swords. This is that fire. This is that passion. This is that I have what it takes. I have the energy. I have the know-how, the intelligence, the info, <laughs> the details, right? I absolutely feel like this is an accelerated ascension. If this was a Lenormand deck and they spoke for themselves super fast, awakening. That's an accelerated ascension if I ever seen one. I'm also here, ooh, all eyes on you. Interesting, because the universe and the chariot are just above this. All eyes on you. There are a lot of spiritual eyes on you and they're watching you. I feel like you are minding your P's and Q's um, even when no one's looking. Even when no one's there. It's almost like if you burp and you still say excuse me even though there's no one there. I just heard does a bear shit in the woods. <laughs> you guys. Oh my gosh. I just heard that so clear. I know, it's secondhand nature. You don't even realize you're doing it, but the divine does. The divine sees it. Ooh. Because we're not taking things for granted. Somebody made you feel like you deserve to be taken granted for. And the divine is here to remind you that you are not to be taken. Aww. <laughs> feel like these people are in fear the more and more you blossom and grow and make peace with things it really worries people and I think maybe that's just because they know they can never take from you what they used to or um, it's just that you shine so bright and people see it that this person may be um, feeling exposed because there are going to be people coming up to them like, didn't you say that they used to? Or um, if that's not the case, because that's not always the case. This could have been a, something that happened a long time ago. But should this person decide to open their mouth and run it again, there are going to be table people around the table in that conversation that are like, wait a minute, but didn't they also do this, that, and this since then? Like, I don't know. I just don't think they're the same person anymore. And it's going to really upset this karmic but that's just the mirror effect right because we're all just mirrors to each other so like somebody's holding up the mirror and this person doesn't like it 
They didn't like it when you did it. They're not going to like it when the next person does it. That might be part of their karma, though, to watch you receive your dharma, to watch you grow, or for you to be defended in conversations you didn't even know you were a part of. Yeah, Skyfather. That's the emperor at the bottom of the deck. There are people standing up for you because you have grown. You've really matured. I'm proud of you. I moved away so no one could find me. This is very Seven of Wands, defensive energy, protection um, energy, Eight of Swords. Because people wanted you to be all up in your head, thinking all these things about you, doubting yourself, denying yourself. Oh, Five of Pentacles. Feeling like I've already lost everything anyways. I might, as, might not even try. What's the point? You discouraged i'm hearing discouraged disappointed why bother this person wanted you to be depressed see they didn't want you to overcome all the negative thoughts that they were putting in there because they took you for granted and really made you question your own worth and value and you've got some ancestors that are not happy about it they're pissed I'm seeing the tower coming out. Yeah, the king of cups, your ancestors are about to make a wave big time. But all that water energy there, Scorpio and king is also Scorpio, heavy Scorpio energy. That is an old song. I don't even remember. We're going to wash that dirt right out of my hair. Right out of your... Something about we're going to wash that dirt right out of your hair. I think they're going to wash your thoughts clean. It might be raining in your area. You might be crying a lot. Maybe you've just noticed you've been drinking a lot more water or played with more water. You recently changed out the water in your fish tank or something like that. Like, oh shit, it is laundry day, and that uses up a lot of water, doesn't it? I did take an extra long shower today, didn't I? Something like that. There's a spiritual meaning behind all the extra water. Maybe you finally got to go visit the beach, or you actually walked in the water this time, or something. Something having to do with water. The Nine of Wands. I forgot. Karmic soulmate. I didn't even realize what I was clarifying. But it makes perfect sense. This person is also wounded. You're ponying up. And they're somehow... I'm hearing disillusioned. I feel like they were living under the illusion, under the belief that they were somehow healed even though they're still holding on to all the anger and rage about it this person still wishes really bad things on the people that hurt them i get there are some people that absolutely need to receive their karma but if you if you let that control your life it's angry people that's angry energy i'm hearing uncontrolled Now I'm almost wondering if this person might have a little bit of um, this person needs to talk about things to make sense of some of the stuff in their head because I feel like they're not fully seeing what they're doing, how they're impacting the people around them. I'm getting <clears throat> yeah, they don't want to hear this, but <coughs> There are a lot of people around this person that are fake followers. I'm getting these are people that will agree with them just to save face. People roll over and show this person their belly and they might actually be aware of this and they're trying to use that to their advantage. You, however, are the oddball out. You're the one that's not gonna roll over and show your belly. You're the one that's gonna like say something. That's what they got a problem with. That's why they try to get in your head. That's why they want you to feel like you're nothing anyways. For real? 
for real. And then pretend that's not toxic AF for real. Can we be so for real right now? This person's going to have to take a seat, and I think the divine's going to let them know. So everything about you turns me on. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. There's something new. Eight of Cups. Because you've walked away from the past and you've really healed, you've really changed, you're not the same person anymore. You're walking away from an old version of you, especially if you've been crying. It's because there's a part of you, there's a part of your life that is coming to an end while a new door opens. Think about somewhere that you've lived for a long time. You have so many memories here, but now it's time to move. Yes, it's going to be sad leaving all those memories behind you, but you have so many yet to make. You walked away with tears in your eyes, but there are new things. I'm hearing gifts and blessings and people. No lessons. You're getting a break from the lessons. I think you've learned a lot in this one that it's almost like you sit down over here and just relax. You come with me. We need to talk like the divine is really coming in as like mother daddy energy here. Especially if this person is using their gifts for the wrong reasons. I don't know why I feel like saying that. But I feel like I need to say that. Maybe even one more time. This person could have been using their gifts for the wrong reasons. Or trying to siphon off of you poke a straw on you and suck that energy they thought they were going to get away with it except this happens to be the police card the authority card whee, whee. i just heard that whoa whoop whoop that's the sound of the police oh my gosh yeah somebody but it could be spiritual right like that spiritual court doesn't have to be physical court i don't actually see any court here I do see somebody getting pulled over. I do see somebody being questioned. I am hearing subpoenaed. Somebody's being subpoenaed. I feel like that has to do with an accident, a car accident on the road. Somebody's being subpoenaed about a car accident. Maybe as a witness or something to testify anyways. Think about you all day. So we'll for, first pull about the karmic because clearly they're still obsessed. Oh, never mind. It's the new person. It's that king of cups. This is also your ancestors. Bro, I told you they don't play with you. One of these times, y'all are going to believe me when I say that. Like, they don't play with you. All the work that you do, even when no one's looking, they see it. <laughs> They see you. You're doing things that they wish they could have. Especially if, you know, because some of them, times was different back then. I'm hearing this is a... Um, there is such a huge weight being lifted off of your chest, your shoulders, your back. I'm also feeling like this over, whew, this very strong sense of wanting to cry when you feel your ancestors, because you're going to have a moment. You may have already had the moment. You might be having it right now, but you're having this moment where you can feel the ancestors and it's just like, so it takes over your entire presence, your, your existence for a moment and you feel them and you're so overwhelmed with the love and the joy. You can feel them. The love and the protection and the guidance and the forehead kisses. I mean, it's just, it's so encapsulating. You're not going to question your protection probably ever again. I am telling you,
um, something about you are our champion. You are the one sent here to ascend, to do this work. This person crossed paths with you because they've done this before, but I feel like you're going to be one of the last people that they do this to. They might continue to do it with the other people that allow them to, the enablers, essentially. Um, but they will never approach you again because you have absolutely made it clear that you are not about that. You're not an option. You're not a choice, period. You will never be a choice or an option to them again either. I really feel, especially with the, the world card, the universe in this deck, um, you've completely closed that door. It's, it's all the way shut. We melted the key. Don't need it. Don't want it. It's about the new, and the new is about to make you so happy because you are so connected. Mm. You are still doing the work. A heavy emphasis on tarot readers. I feel like you do pull your cards, um, or you definitely want to book that reading or purchase that deck. Little hint, your first deck is supposed to be gifted to you, but sometimes the person that was supposed to gift it to you doesn't. If you have a very prophetic, prophetic dream... <laughs> You're going to have an overwhelming sensation that you need to get this deck. You already know the deck I'm talking about, too, if this is for you. Yeah. Your inner child wants to do this. It has to do with your gifting your inner child. I'm also hearing a just because present just because. Are there any other messages? There's going to be a lot of information coming to you over the next six weeks is what I'm hearing. I'm also getting someone's about to move and someone's life is changing in such a beautiful way. I'm hearing gifts are going to just boom, like blossom, huge, Looking like some Florida-sized flowers, okay? Enormous for no reason. <laughs> but they're gorgeous, so we're not going to question it. Um, new gifts. Enhanced gifts. Your connection to the other side, specifically. There is a, a mother, motherly energy here. Could be somebody's grandma or an aunt, maybe. Anyways, there's somebody that's very mommying over you. You're going to really start picking up on them being around you. They've been around you, but you're going to start really picking it up. Like, you're going to smell them. You're going to turn real quick and see a glimpse of them. You're going to see things that they would do. Or, like, you know you didn't leave something here but you're finding it here and that's exactly where this person would have put it. So like they're going to make their presence a lot more known because you're more established. You're more in a position where you can receive the messages, understand the messages, all the little things that are happening. They're all synchronistic serendipitous messages, messages from messengers. Yeah. Um, I wanted to pull from the angel tarot because actually I just felt drawn to. Um, but now I understand for some of you guys, this person is still actively trying. And also, um, I'm hearing there's things you need to know. All right, so let's see. There's things you need to know see what the angel tarot wants to bring to the table this is a very powerful deck this is like the moldavite of my tarot decks so just gonna warn you now let's see oh, i love the way this deck shuffles though like butter six of pentacles the favorable god divine grace cures rage and pestilence absolves the guilty I think somebody is getting the chance to prove their innocence 
I think the divine is proving your innocence and this other person is I don't know it kind of feels like a plea bargain this is divine court man this this is making it to the divine court this person did too much spiritually they might not even be aware of that but they did too much okay, for some of you i'm hearing they're not the only one there are other people and some of those other people absolutely know that they did too much so this might be more than one person that we're talking about that is a whole stack ace of wands the patient god Fertility and multiplicity protects against despair. Helps one to be patient. I think you have been patient. I don't want to hold that up too long because there's a little bit of nudity in it. So I don't want to get flagged for that. Eight of Swords. God, Protector, and Savior. Truth and Justice. Protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune. I don't think you need to be a tarot reader to understand what this picture is telling you. The hermit. Yeah, because you were forced into isolation. Some of you self-isolated. Others of you were just cast aside and forced into it. Let's get it. Um, let's see. Word of God creating all. Alchemy and transformation rules natural events and helps with spiritual progress. You know, I felt like this person was trying to do some kind of magic here. They're messing with the natural events, the natural order of things. You are meant to spiritually progress, and this person tried to stop it. Knight of Pentacles, the praiseworthy God. Light of understanding. You get it. That's why you're not so offended by all of it, because you get it now says acquires knowledge and cures illness see you get it now it makes sense to you now and you're going to continue getting more messages about this to help you okay um and it's curing whatever kind of disease this person fanned the fire with created like it's curing all of that and like i was talking about with the disease and um chakras and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. I know somebody here has actually seen this. So, like, let me know in the comments. Or don't. It's fine. Um, Ace of Pentacles, the adored God, says divine blessings. We were talking about that. Drives away evil spirits. And rules agricultural production. There's more of that fertility. I know somebody's actually seen this. This is what an angel actually looks like. I also want to pull from the messages of love oracle cards. <laughs> My table's getting full. <laughs> oh, goodness. Children. So you could have been a child here. This could have been a parent for your, someone who's supposed to be a parent. This could also um, be affecting your children. If you have children, that, okay, so Archangel Michael and Raphael will absolutely not let that happen. Just so you know. <laughs> when there are children involved, the amount of innocence. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They are to remain untouched. They're off limits, just period, flat, point blank. 
I've already made it very well known. If anybody tries to come in between me and my children, it is on site forever. <laughs> like, don't do it. Just don't do it, my guy. You're not going to have a good time. <laughs> You've been warned. Don't. Don't. And you know what's funny? The universe feels the same way about you. And somebody did try to mess with you. And that's why the, the divine and these angels are coming in to, I'm hearing, set the record straight. They're going to bat for you. There's a whole spiritual war here. And this is actually very small compared to what's going on in the real world and the spiritual war at large. So, like, if this person really thought that they were some big, bad, evil, gonna get away with, powerful, <laughs> about to be knocked all the way off that horse and have all of the seats, thank you. It's not gonna work at all. We have balance. Yeah, you were giving more than this person was ever going to give back. They just could not reciprocate the same kind of love because they don't have it. Or maybe it was understanding, or maybe it was healing, or maybe it was whatever it is. You have something that they don't, and they wanted it, and they were taking it. For some of you guys, this has to do with your destiny. Maybe this person knew things about your path that they wanted. They were so jealous that you were going to have this that they wanted it. And they tried to take it. And some of them did. Some of them it worked. But the universe knew there is going to come a time where this person, this individual, my child, is going to need the gifts and abilities and the destiny that I gave them. And because you chose to live that path, whoever took it from you is going to be forced to resign and give it back. Somebody tried to play tit for tat. Energetically. <laughs> I don't think they even realize. <sighs> it's just, it's kind of funny. It's not really because this person's going to have hell to pay. But um, it is kind of funny because it's like this person knew enough to know that they could try and then it was working but like you're really going to tell me that you didn't know enough to know that there might be some kind of spiritual repercussion for that too though like if you're going to do the research do the research right <laughs> sorry my shadow needs to calm down because it's not funny. It's really not. You've probably gone through a lot. A lot. And I want to say with these people, not just this person. Or maybe it was just so many people with the same situation, the same scenario. It won't be anymore, though. Because, again, you've learned that lesson. Whatever the lesson was, you've learned it. And I think it has to do with your self-worth and who you truly are, what you're truly capable of. What you really came here to do. You really didn't... You didn't just go through the stuff. You rose from the stuff. You're a phoenix. And somebody just cannot let themselves have the ego death needed. You're not the same. You're not the same. You are stable and releasing the things that you need to. I'm also getting whatever that stability is that was meant for you. It's being released to you now. I feel like it's going to be very instantaneous. Whatever it is that somebody took from you, as you demand it back, or as the divine demands it back for you this person is going to be going through some things and it's going to be very very at the exact same time we had this grandfather clock in my family that everybody thought was haunted because there were moments where it would just stop and it was crazy there was a death 
in the family and as soon as we all came back to the house um we literally felt with no doors or windows open this huge breeze come through the house this clock was spinning like crazy it's one of those wind up expensive grandfather clocks and um the bells were just going off and the the weights or whatever they're called were just going crazy it was so weird and then um, we had a master electrician come out and couldn't explain it. Well, then there was a divorce in our family. And as soon as, I'm telling you, the moment, the same exact time that the judge hit the gavel, the clock stopped at that exact second. Like, there is something that is going to be lined up so absolutely perfectly that nothing else can explain what just happened. There's no denying what this is. And I think that there are some people around this situation. See, stuff like this happens for so many reasons. And I feel like some of it is going to be people around this person are going to see the truth now. And they're going to question this person. When before, these are the same like ride or dies for that person. But now they're like, wait a minute. Who the fuck have I been riding with? Who am I willing to die for again? Like, it's going to be weird. It's going to be very, very weird and uncomfortable for this person. Because there is so much coming to light here. All eyes. Like, there are so many people that are going to see it. They can't deny it. There are some people that are going to realize this stuff is real because of this experience. So it's causing awakenings. There are also people like you that are going to be able to be proven innocent without having to do anything. Because what happens in the dark comes to the light, and that's what this is. I'm hearing something is going to be made so obvious that everyone's going to know. Everyone's going to know. Everyone's going to know. They just keep saying it over everyone. Everyone is going to know. This is intense. Yeah, because you're starting a new chapter in your life. And something about this new chapter, somebody else has tampered with it. And you, you're not energetically matched with whatever that tampering was. It's almost like... It's almost like a fundraiser and somebody thought they could just stick some money in their pocket and get away with it. That was caught on camera. Like there was a hire or something that saw that. There could actually be video. There's some kind of evidence here. I'm hearing somebody is so stuck on the past that they cannot. They cannot. And something was done in the past that just cannot anymore. It can't. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because you, it's part of your natural process. This is your growth, your transformation. These are your blessings, and you will have them when you're ready. Now that you're ready, whoever has tapped into it and been benefiting from it, it's all being sucked away from them. And don't worry, the divine's going to clean it up before it gives it to you. Look, all eyes on you, all hands on deck. This is crazy. My community is supportive, loving, and active in the world. And if they're not, they don't need to be a part of your community. I said it. <laughs> but yeah, this is a part of your next chapter. So whatever it is that's a part of your next chapter that somebody else took from you or messed with, that's the record that's going to be set straight here. I'm here and they, I hope they enjoyed it while they had it. They did. They did. But they're about to lose everything. I'm hearing and they thought they already did. Wait a minute. Did they do it again? Oh, that's why the universe is absolutely done with this person. Or maybe they did it to somebody else. Maybe they thought they got away with it, too. Maybe they did get away with it. Not any longer, though, because they tried it with you, and you're the one that's going to shut the whole operation down. That's what I'm hearing. 
but you're just focused on your new beginnings. <laughs> you're nesting. That's what I'm hearing. You're nesting energetically. So there's something about your physical reality, your emotional reality, your there's something about your situation that you've been working on. You've been clearing out, cleaning up, preparing a mother if you're actually pregnant with a child, what nesting looks like is um, building the crib and painting the walls in the room, hanging up the pictures, getting everything ready for baby's arrival, washing all the bottles and getting them ready in the cupboards, right? Like just washing all the clothes, folding them and putting them in the dresser, like all of that, right? But you're energetically nesting for something. To some of you, it is a baby, some of you it's not maybe there's a new person coming in and you just feel like this overwhelming feeling like you want to make some room in your bathroom or you want to make some room um, in your closet or in your dressers or you just want to clear the junk out of your home or maybe you're cleaning your car out maybe you're getting ready for a trip and you don't even realize it like you don't know there's a trip coming but you feel like you want to clean the car out that kind of stuff right maybe you're picking up around your office because you're about to get a promotion and move over to that bigger room you know whatever um you, you're feeling the need to do something and it is in preparation for this new beginning this new blessing but what i'm getting is this blessing has to be removed from somebody else like they took your stuff man they took your stuff i don't know how they did it because they don't vibrationally match with that they don't but this person i'm hearing they dabble they dabble in some stuff that they shouldn't have. Yes, yeah, somebody's going to have to get ready to pay the piper because somebody's going to come and collect. And this is something that they were never supposed to have in the first place. It's almost like an inheritance, right? Somebody legally takes your inheritance and then when you turn of age and you go to collect it and it's not there, best believe that's going to go to court. <laughs> You will receive what you were meant to receive. This is your natural process. And the divine will make absolutely sure that it happens. This person is in for a very rude awakening. But they asked for this. And they know it. And they know it. They're going to play dumb. I'm telling you right now. They're going to play stupid. Like they don't know. Like, oh, that can't be what this is. They're going to stick to their story. This is somebody that just, they can't own their shit. But they probably forced you to own yours, didn't they? They did it to themselves. So we had Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, no. Cancer. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Aries again, Leo, Leo, wow, Aquarius, Scorpio on the board. Virgo is here as well, sorry. I knew the earthy was coming in. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo again. Sheesh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have the Ace of Pentacles out here twice. There's a lot of Earth energy here. Ace of Wands and the Sun and the Fire Signs, which technically is the Ace of Wands. Or at least it could be seen as, right? Anyways, I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. See you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.